Welcome to Business Talk, Owning It with Sage. It's a new season and great to have Sage back on board as uh, we breach the 1 million views mark on Business Talk. Amazing how in every uh, crisis there's an opportunity and we launched this show in the middle of uh, one of the biggest uh, crises in the middle of the pandemic and it's been you, the viewer, who've really given it the thumbs up. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, and today we're talking about small businesses. And let's face it, when you dreamed of starting that small restaurant business or that coffee shop, you weren't dreaming of all the manual and administrative processes associated with bookkeeping and bank reconciliations. But that is the nature of the job. Now, FNB and Sage, uh, a market leader for cloud business management solutions, announced a partnership that is all about simplifying this process. And it's a great uh, pleasure to welcome Grant Schneider, who's product manager at Sage, just to talk to us a little bit more about uh, a partnership that is uh, only a couple of months old. I think it was launched back in May. Grant, welcome to the show. Uh, you, Thank you, Michael. You've launched what is called FMB Bank Feed. Uh, just explain exactly what this is. Yeah, absolutely, Michael. So a bank feed is a digital link between your bank and your accounting software solution essentially importing your bank transactions on a daily basis. Um, so what we've done with FNB, with this partnership, is we've simplified the process of trans transferring your financial transaction history from one's bank account over into the Sage Accounting Solutions. And it's, it's really the first of its kind in terms of an integration into our entire suite of accounting products in South Africa. Um, just to call them out, there's Sage Accounting, there's Sage 50 Pastel, Sage 200 Evolution, and Sage Intact. And all those products serve customers both in the small and medium segment. Um, and yeah, we, we're very excited about this partnership. It launched in May and uh, going extremely well. I can imagine because you're solving for a big pain point, I think, for so many SMEs and small businesses out there. As you said, the first banking service of its kind in South Africa. How did this partnership come about? And, and why do you see FNB and Sage as such a great fit? I know FNB are also uh, pioneers and innovators in the banking space. Uh, is that a big reason behind the partnership? Absolutely, Michael. So, I mean, FNB are, are extremely innovative, as you've just mentioned. And it really also supports our vision at Sage to make accounting invisible. And when I say invisible, we take all these mundane data capturing and admin type tasks and we automate them. And the net result of that is that frees up the business owner to really focus and hone in on his business, giving him you know, more time to make those business type decisions as opposed to getting stuck in the admin. And then, you know, naturally partnering with, um, with FNB um, has enabled small and medium businesses to, um, to thrive. And it obviously means um, FNB opening up its ecosystem as well. And I know banks are opening their APIs and doing uh, a whole lot more of that. How does FNB Bank Feed actually help uh, an SME who wants to use the service? Let's talk about some practical examples here. Yeah, 100%, Michael. So FNB customers will be able to share their financial transaction history with Sage. All this takes place via a secure API. Um, basically, an API is when one or more computers talk to each other, just in layman's terms. Mm -hmm. And this really will allow that business owner to get his transaction history into his accounting solution on a daily basis all seamlessly by way of um, automation. Now, in terms of the, um, you know, the additional benefits, what happens once the transactions hit the accounting solution is that there's still a bank recon that needs to take place. So Sage automatically picks up with a bit of, um, you know, a bit of training in the beginning it automatically picks up those regular and repeat transactions that come through on the bank statement. And I'll give you an example. Let's say for, for you know, you've got a, a Vodacom cell phone where you need to pay Vodacom or Telcom every month for your telephone. 
Um, that, that comes through religiously on your bank statement. You've paid them as a supplier. We need to now book that to telephone and expenses. We can then just code the system once to say, this transaction needs to be allocated to telephone. Um, so that's that's just a bit about the the automated recon process that also mm-hmm. happens in the background. And it's a great solution if you're a, a, one of those managers who likes to have management accounts and an instant look and dashboard view of uh, what's going in and out and, and your your PNL and all of that. And there are obviously lots of benefits. I mean, the the efficiency and the ease with which this seamlessly integrates is one of them and obviously convenience. But what do you see as the main benefits of, of bank feed for SMEs? So, Michael, I, you know, one of the big ones that I, I often call out is security. Um, so, you know, gone are the days where we can afford to be downloading a bank statement of internet banking and leave it lying around on a computer network or on a laptop. I mean, those days are, are, are gone. Um, there's a huge security risk there. So with the FNB direct feed, you know, the data is flowing securely from A to B without any human intervention. Um, and then, it, you know, it gives you really a lot more control over, over your security. There's efficiencies where manual processes are extremely cumbersome. You no longer need to go and sit in and capture um, that statement as I alluded to manually anymore. Um, there's the convenience factor. Um, and also, I think, I think something that's often overlooked is by integrating bank feeds, you've, you've got that real-time visibility into your business. And that really lends itself to making quicker business decisions. Let's say you need to apply for funding, or, you know, or whatever the case may be. It lends itself to to really supporting the business with um, quicker turnaround. Absolutely. I mean, I think of a retailer here heading into Black Friday, and uh, you, you want to take advantage of that. Uh, you might want to um, take a loan out to uh, bump up your inventory. You're expecting a good uh, Black Friday because we're all going into level one. Things change so quickly in this environment. You really need that uh, nimbleness and that flexibility that you spoke of. Now, it sounds like a solution that's going to come at a great cost, though, because convenience generally comes with a bit of a price tag. But what, what's important to remember here? Do you have to have, um, like clearly, you have to be an F&B customer, but what else do you need and what is the cost? Yeah, so a great question, Michael. In this case, it's it's a free value add to both FNB business customers and Sage accounting customers. Um, and normally, as you as you say, it doesn't come cheap, but in this instance, it is free. Um, so the only prerequisite is a profile or an account with Sage, and equally an FNB business bank account. Well, I think uh, what could be simpler than that? Sign up uh, right away if you're a small business that's looking for efficiency, if you're looking for convenience, if you're looking for security, as well as that uh, uh, management account type uh, dashboard view of the business as well. I think a fantastic solution. Just a, a last question to you, Grant, before I let you go. You launched in May. What's the market response been like so far? So it's been phenomenal, Michael. We've had... Um Thousands, I can't quote a figure, but we've had a couple thousand uh, bank accounts connected to the FNB Direct Bank Feed service. And um, I think it's just the beginning. Um, you know, customers have not- noticed this convenience. Um, there's, you know, there's the control of the, the FNB and Sage solution is directly in the customer's hands. Um, by way of the FNB online banking or the FNB app. So we've seen a tremendous uptake and I think um, it's, it's a great recipe for future success. Yeah, and, and certainly helping small businesses be resilient in the face of all of these headwinds that they've had to navigate over the last 18, 19 months of the pandemic. Grant Schneider, Product Manager at Sage, talking all about the Sage FNB Bank Fee Partnership here on Business Talk.